Okay, the first thing I want to talk about are, um, is how to solve exponential equations by getting the bases, by finding a common base. So on this one, we're trying to solve for um, x. And what you're going to do is we want to rewrite 8 as 2 to a power. So 2 to the x plus 1 equals, we know 8 is 2 to the third power. And once you have a common base, the only way this can be true is if x plus 1 equals 3. So then we know x is 2, and we're done. So then what you're going to do is when you look at this, you're going to try and determine what would my common base be. So for the next problem, the common base would be 3. So I don't do anything to this side. But I'm going to rewrite the 9 as 3 squared. And now that I have a common base, I can say 2x minus 3 equals 2. So 2x equals 5. And x equals 5 halves. All right, on the next problem, my common base would be 5. Again, I don't do anything to change the left-hand side, so I leave this. But 125 is 5 cubed. So now I have 1 half x plus 4 equals 3. So 1 half x equals negative 4, I'm sorry, negative 1. To undo multiplying by a half, we can multiply by 2, multiply both sides by 2, and we get x equals negative 2. Now on this one, when you look to find your common base, hopefully you recognize that the common base would be 3. But So I won't do anything to the left-hand side, but the right-hand side, I need to think, how could I write this with a common base of 3? So this is a reciprocal, so it's going to involve a negative exponent. So I'm going to have 3 to the 4x minus 1 equals 3 to the minus 1. Because remember, a negative 1x a power would just tell you to do the reciprocal, so you'd get 1 third. So now we have 4x minus 1 equals negative 1. So 4x equals, if you add 1 to both sides, you get 0, which means x is 0. Next problem, you need to find a common base. It's going to be 7, so we get 7 to the 3x plus 1. Now on this side, I'm going to think of this as 7 to the negative 2 power to the 1 minus x. So the next thing I have to do is a power to a power. So you do have to remember the exponent rules. Power to a power, you multiply the exponent. So we get 7 to the 3x plus 1 equals 7 to the negative 2 plus 2x when you distribute that negative 2. So I end up with 3x plus 1 equals negative 2 plus 2x. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So I get x on the left, and I'm going to subtract 1. So I get x equals negative 3. On the next problem, now neither one of the numbers represented or here are, are going to be the common base, but my common base is going to be 3. So I can think of this as 3 squared raised to the 2x minus 4. And I can think of this as 3 cubed raised to the x minus 1. So Power to a power, I multiply the exponents, so I get 3 to the 4x minus 8, don't forget to distribute, equals 3 to the 3x minus 3. Now we have the basis the same, so we can say 4x minus 8 equals 3x minus 3. So if I subtract 3x, I'll have an x on the left, and I'm going to add 8, so negative 3 plus 8 is 5. Okay, now on the next one, I'm going to look at to find my common base. So in this case, I can't get to 32 by raising 4 to a power, but I can get to both of those base numbers by raising 2 to a power. So this would be 2 squared to the 5x minus 1. And now, one thing you need to remember is this is the same thing as 32 to the 1 third power. So remember when we take roots, the cube root, the bottom number is the root, the top number is the power. So you do need to recall that from Algebra 2. So now we have 2 to the fifth power 
raised to the one-third power. Power to a power, so I multiply the exponents. So I get 10x minus 2 equals 5 thirds. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. I get 10x. When I add 2, but I have a common denominator, or I have a denominator of 3, so I'm going to think of that as adding a 6 thirds, adding 2 to this side, adding 2 to that side. So I get 11 thirds. And now I'm going to divide by 10. So I get 11 over 30. And the last problem, I have to think about how I can find a common base for this. Now, this one you might is kind of tricky, but this is going to work any time you have a 1. And you don't have to do a common base of 2 or anything. You can actually leave it an 8. I can think of this as 8 to the 5 minus 2x, because that's what it is. And I can think of this as 8 to the 0 power. So I'm going to create that common base. Remember, anything to the 0 power is 1. So I get 5 minus 2x, except 0, I should say, because that's undefined. So 5 minus 2x is 0. So negative 2x is negative 5. And x is 5 halves. So that is how you solve exponential equations by finding a common base.